What is happening, y'all? Cowboy here, and welcome to part one of The Expanse. Now, we haven't done a Telltale game on the channel before. To be fair, they haven't been around for a while. Uh, pretty sure they, like, went bankrupt. But either way, they are coming back with an absolute banger because this is a Telltale game for my all-time favorite sci-fi show. If you haven't seen The Expanse, it is phenomenal. Uh, I would describe it as Game of Thrones in space, but like without how Game of Thrones kind of went to crap, it's just it's it's just good. It's really good. So either way, today we're jumping in. Now, from what I understand, this is the first episode, which I don't think is all that long. But regardless, we're gonna get through it, and rest assured. We'll be going through all the episodes. Space them. Let's celebrate. What are we celebrating? Our last mission. I've heard that before. This is the one. By the end of the day, all of us are going to be fucking rich, but mostly you and me. It's another wreck. It's not just any wreck. The UNN Urshinabi dropped off the map less than a week ago. No distress call. Those UNN pricks never come out this far unless they're carrying something special. Aren't you one of those UNN pricks? <laughs> Easy. If I'm still one of those UNN pricks, then you're still an OPA traitor with Anderson Dawes' bounty on your head. But the past is the past. The past is the past. Why didn't you take it? the bounty I knew you were worth more anybody who could piss off someone that dangerous must be pretty fucking valuable don't make the same mistake he did I work for you but you don't own me <laughs> believe me I'm well aware just want to make sure you're not having second thoughts about our deal. No, come on. We're equal partners. We pay the crew, the costs, and the overhead. The rest is 50-50. You and me. We've got a good thing going here. Nobody fucks with you, which means nobody fucks with me. And hell, if this score is what I think it could be, you've got the deal of the century. Now drink. Yam yeah, Sang, or whatever the fuck you people say. <laughs> Close enough. So from what I looked up, this is supposed to be set before the television series and follows her aboard the Artemis, a scavenger ship. We got five episodes total.
Time to rally the crew for Cox's latest, last mission. I should start by briefing Khan. Khan, new orders from the captain. I know. He already sent me the coordinates. Captain thinks that this could be... Last score we'll ever need. All of a century. I got the pep talk from him. What's our ETA? It depends. On what? On how long you plan to waste my time. Kind of a snappy pilot. Oh dear. I made the lackey upset. Forgive me. Hmm. Fashing fun. You will bet. I'll break through to you eventually. You want to braid somebody's hair? Go find Maya. I'm busy. We're nearly there. The debris field is massive. It'll take me a minute to navigate. Somebody blew that ship to hell and back. I should check the command console for more information on the Oshinobi. She's been chewing on that same cigar for weeks. That's disgusting. As the XO, it's my job to make sure the ship and his crew are in order. I keep a log on the ship and on our scavenge missions. Haven't had to shoot much, but we keep the PDCs fully stocked. Just in case. Wouldn't want to do a high G burn in one of these. It's bad enough with the juice and the cushy chair. It's time to find the rest of the crew. Arlen said he put all this away. What was it, three days ago? Make sure. But on that, I don't know why my G Sync just never works. I think it has something to do with recording. I don't. I don't know. It's something I'd like to figure out though. Crew deck. But what's over here? Of course, Cox needs to get his beauty rest. Before he gets back to work, doing absolutely nothing. I used to suit up in the prep room with everyone. But I've seen Arlen's and Rayan's asses enough for one lifetime. Now, I keep my back suit in my room. I think one of the big things I liked about this show is it's <clears throat> it's very industrial space, you know? And uh, I feel like a lot of sci-fi goes like super high tech with you know, flashy spaceships and whatnot. And everything is very... Uh, I don't know, just industrial looking in the expanse. Somehow I am not surprised to learn that Maya keeps a copy of our ship's manual by her bedside. Maya fits in well for her first time in the belt, despite whatever Philota this book taught her. I never thought I'd get along with a Martian Marine, but Maya hates the MCRN almost as much as I do. I never thought I'd get, along get with the read this. But my dishonorable discharge, insubordination, dereliction of duty, sharing anti Martian media literature, sentiment, organization. The MCRN does not tolerate some behavior within its ranks in order to prosper all citizens to work to serve the Republic. We got an ex Marine.
Virgil. Virgil. <sighs> Exo drummer. <clears throat> Usually medics only know enough to plug that thing in and rig up the morphine dispenser. Well, I took a course in auto dock repair during my residency. Useful for work outside the medical system. It's been giving me abnormal readings since series, but I finally know why. The laser crystal's badly occluded. This looks like the kind of job that Maya would kill for. While Miss Castillo can no doubt install a new crystal, I'm afraid we'll need a new one first. I can only imagine what ancient welding equipment the captain dug this stone out of. But we'll need a high quality gem for surgical work. I assume you didn't come here to talk about crystals. We have a new target. What is it this time, El Dorado? The Fountain of Youth? Let me guess. The Falcon Horde of Venus? <laughs> the UNN Urshanabi. Cap believes there's something valuable on board. Something special. Do we want to invite that kind of attention? We'll be fine. In and out. No games. I'll monitor any data you send back, and I'll be here to patch anyone up, should it come to that. I wonder why we're briefing everyone, like the... And I guess we just value his input. Maya has a plan for this meditation session. She's going to bring her makeup kit and wait until Virgil gets into a deep trance. Mm. Then go to town on him. I may have to watch. Kind of interesting seeing Kamina a little more, like, relaxed, because she's an absolute just badass in the show. What's your excuse this time? You not get enough sleep? You need some aqua caca, huh? Ow, just let me go. It just fell, okay? Well, I tell you. Tin shot, you stupid prick. Quit fucking up. Hey, boss man. Make him stop. Shut it, Okaka. Enough of this, Falota. And you wonder why I have to treat you like Maliwala. <laughs> We got a job, Baratnas. Listen up. Nah, fuck that. I'm tired of rooting around in the dumpster for that Inya. Cox promised us a real payday. He said, give me three months and you never have to work again. He said, he said, this the next job. And he the boss man. <sighs> Just like series, bossing everyone around. Only this time, no dolls to keep you on the leash, yeah? This isn't series. Oh. On the ship, I'm the Exo. Yeah, bitch. Shit. I was only fucking with you, Kope. Come on, Baratna. Put some respect on my name. For those worried, this will be too narrative heavy coming right off of Final Fantasy. So far, none of the biomass that's gone through this recycler has been a crew member. Just keep in mind, so we got about a week and then we'll play, uh, what is it, Atlas Fallen? Which just looks like it'll be high action and whatnot. And that's going to take us up to Armor Core, which will be super high action. Fruit in the belt is never fancy. But my stomach still turns when I look at this mush. Space food. Arlen is right. That Rayan can't keep his shit from breaking. It only makes my job harder. ETA five minutes, drummer. Will do, boss man. Headed back to my room to suit up now. Those gave me everything. A job, a purpose, a community. Until he took it all. Even with everything he's done to me, 
I would never turn DOS into UN enforcers. Took every yen I had to get off Ceres without Dawes or Star Helix noticing. Never had time for dating on Ceres. Now I've got plenty of time and no one to date. Low gravity, no pressure. <laughs> Each time it gets another crack, it reminds me of that shit heap even more. I got a lot closer to a captain's chair than I would have expected, and a lot further away from anything else. Where are you going to go, Kamina? Huh? Anywhere but here. With anyone but you. <laughs> Hate me all you want. You are many things, Beltaloda, but you are not a traitor. You love your belt. And right now, belt is me. I'm busy. You're late. Quit tinkering and get your helmet. We're about to push off. Don't fucking make me. <laughs> Typical Martian? With the mouth that only knows how to kiss ass and spew caca. <laughs> I already beat Arlen's ass today. I guess Virgil can handle one more patient. I should put you in the brig for this. You'd have to catch me first. got me <laughs> fuck yes finally <laughs> you were kicking my ass for a minute I thought you had me again that was a good move <laughs> But if we were playing for keeps, I would have headbutted you at the end there. And if we were playing for keeps, I would have smashed your brittle belter bones up against the ceiling. Don't believe everything they taught you in the Martian Navy. My bones are just as strong as yours. I didn't believe a single thing they taught me at that fascist brainwash factory. That's why I'm here with you brittle bitches. Arlen and Rayan have begun breaching the airlock off the bridge. Once we're in, we are going Holy to- Holy shit, Io! Usually Io is covered up by these dust streams that fire off from its poles after volcanic activity. But it's clear as day. It looks like any other moon, pale and lumpy. Don't you talk about her like that. She's a beautiful volcanic goddess. <laughs> I usually only look for what could kill me out here. But it's nice getting to see it through your eyes. Even if they're the eyes of an inner who doesn't know her ass from her oxygen valve. 
You mean an inner who pile drive your ass into a ceiling, right? <laughs> Let's head out. Just remember to. Woohoo! <sighs> As I was saying, remember to keep your weight back when you land. Still, not bad for an inner who's barely been in the belt for a month, eh? Reminds me when Rayon and I were learning to spacewalk. One time, he crashed right into the hole and shit his vac suit. <laughs> <laughs> shut, shut it! Cool you up! Go! Ah, airlock is open, Exo. Uh, good. Let's see what we have in here. Table scraps. Ah! Fuck! That's a floating head. Yo, Baratna. She's crazy. Just breathe. Keep your head down. It's okay. Now say puke in your suit, eh? That you won't choke to death on your own sick. That's kind of an ass. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> that's that's a lot of heads. Enough. Whoever put out this welcome gift for us is long gone. And they left behind a big ass ship that must have some valuables still on it. So get scavenging. All the heads collected in one orders. space. Hurry up and do your job so we can get back home. In space. But up. So that obviously seems like a fantastic spot to wrap things up. Uh, either way, we're going to be going kind of slow with this, only an episode a day. Um, the next game is like August 9th, which is, you know, obviously more than a week out. But we'll take our time with this. We'll enjoy it. And then we'll have more games whenever this wraps up. So stay tuned. And we'll continue with The Expanse in our next part tomorrow.